I'm Josh. I'm Andrew. I'm Kenny. And we are Team Jack. Alright, so for our project, uh, we had to set a couple of objectives just so that we know what we should aim for. And our first objective was it was uh, easy to use without prior instruction. Second objective was it lasts a lifetime. And then our third was it has enough light to comfortably light a medium sized room. And it also has an on and off switch built into the circuit. Uh, so our constraints were that the light works 100% of the time, so it can be used anytime. Uh, it lasts at least 10 years, estimating for our use a day. It can be connected to a 5 watt power source. It's made from available material in the country where it's used. Uh, it's considered aesthetically pleasing by 4 out of 5 test subjects. Uh, it has instant light and it can be made for less than $2. Okay, so uh, to test the aesthetics, I posted this picture online to my Facebook, and I asked people if they would spend two dollars on the lights, and six out of seven said yes. All right, so uh, our design, we started out with uh, a sort of a paper lantern concept, where we used um, just a pyramid of paper, and then this was too harsh of a light, so we tried diffusing it with masking tape. And then um, after that, Mr. Harris suggested using acrylic plastic siding. So we made a balsa wood frame and uh, glued the acrylic plastic to the sides and made a pyramid. And then used the, a reflective acrylic plastic mirror to the top to reflect the light down. So, uh, for our plastic, we used acrylic plastic. Uh, it has little dots on it. It's uh, very textured. Uh, we got it for very, very cheap. It's like 50 cents for a square foot of it. Uh, yes, sir. And we used um, hot glue to hold it together, but that ended up being prob uh, problematic because it ended up melting on us with the LED and the resistor. So in the future, we would use acrylic acrylic glue. So this is how to build our cone light. First, you draw a circle on a piece of paper and a line to the center, and then you cut it out, and you get this. And then you fold it like this to make a cone and you tape it in it with this. Take a bottle cap and you glue it on the inside and you attach the LED to the bottle cap. Then you trace this out on a piece of paper and make this and you tape that together and you end up with this. Uh, the parts were a plastic, clear plastic uh, circle, a clear plastic, uh, red plastic, larger circle that we turned into a cone and we bound it together with epoxy uh, in this shape. We lined the inside with foil to reflect the light back outwards and the purpose of the bottle cap was to glue the LED on so that it would maintain its forward direction. Um, this is the final design, uh, mostly glued together with hot glue but the, with the final product it would probably be epoxy. Um, as far as a side view, you can see the, the cone, the bottle cap with the LED glued onto it, and the foil, and yeah. Yay. Our low cost light was very cheap and had a colored attractive outside. It also had a light focusing reflector and a very simple design. Our light was very simple, made of only a cup, a vitamin water lid, and a one watt LED on the end of a pen. The cup formed a plastic outside, while the vitamin water lid was spray painted chrome to act as a reflector, and the pen allowed the LED to be positioned in the focal point to provide maximum lighting. <laughs> 